When you watch the mind, it's like doing detective work. It can be very tedious, because there are long stretches where nothing much happens. But you can't let your mindfulness lapse, you can't let your alertness lapse, because it's in the little lapses that things can slip in. As John Chow once said, when you watch the mind, one of the most important lessons you learn is how much it lies to itself, and it lies to itself in those little lapses. So you have to give yourself pep talks, you have to give yourself encouragement to stick with it, stick with it. And the part of the mind that wants entertainment, you have to put to, put to one side. Tell yourself, if you're going to learn something important, you can't just be here for the entertainment. You're going to be here for the advertisements when the mind tells itself that it's really good. You're here to see your defilements, and they're clever at hiding. And the only way you're going to be able to see them is really consistent mindfulness, really consistent alertness. Think of the time they discovered the planet Pluto. They had to pore over photos day after day after day, comparing this photo with that one, this photo with that one, to see if anything moved. It was months before they finally saw something move. Nowadays we have computers to do a lot of the, the drudgery of that sort for, for us. But there's no computer that can work and look into your mind. You're the one who has to see. And so you have to make your looking continuous, and you can't let it get deflected by the tricks of the defilements, the way they hide themselves, the way they deflect your attention off to something else, somebody else. You have to remember, your real problem is inside your mind. It's the way the mind relates to itself. So you've got to catch sight of that. So even though it may be tedious, important things are learned, like the pe people who discovered Pluto. It was convincing enough that they kept finding more and more evidence, and finally they were able to send a probe. So we have pictures. Yes, there is a planet there. At first it was just two little dots. One dot here, and then it moved the next day. But now we have a lot more knowledge about it. And it came from just that one observation, and that one observation took months and months and months of tedious work. If they had been off looking for entertainment there in Flagstaff, nothing would have come at the time. But it's because they were able to put up with the tedium and learn how to get past the tedium and not listen to the voices in the mind that say, this is boring, nothing's happening. There are lots of things happening in the mind. It's just a question of looking carefully enough and consistently enough. So whatever qualities of mind are needed, determination, endurance, patience, work on developing those. And you'll be surprised at what you find.